Okay, kids, form a line. We're going outside. Hello, my name is Christopher. I am 15 years old, and I like to play guitar and piano. Here's my story on autism. Christopher was six, almost six years old when he was diagnosed. When he was about two years old, between two, two and three, we noticed that his behavior was off. I remember being afraid of the doorbell at Nunna's house because I didn't know what a doorbell was at that time. And I was also afraid of the garbage truck. I remember those times I used to scream when I heard the garbage truck, but now I'm okay with it. But it is annoying. His behavior now is basically calmed down a little bit. When he is upset, he will pace up and down he will look at the ceiling and it's like sometimes he would just look at it and start laughing as if someone was there with him. And now it's just basically just he'll hide in his room. The challenge part is that I have to keep constantly reminding him of, to do things. I have to be 24 hours a day, seven days a week on him. You know, making sure he's safe, making sure he's, uh, you know, getting ready for school, getting on top of things, getting him organized. So that has been the challenge. They were the last people you'd expect to be involved in anything strange or mysterious. Slow down. Because they didn't, they just didn't hold with such nonsense. All right. What autism is, autism is to me is... Like, something that kind of gets you held back from doing something that a normal boy would do. As a normal boy, they get to stay home how, how, as long as they want. But me, I'm still learning how to handle staying home alone. It's not really bad or good. I think the misconception is, you know, when somebody, when a child has a disorder, they expect the condition to be bad but it's not there's ups and downs uh it's a matter of adapting we've had to struggle we've had to make a lot of tough decisions i do love him very much i have taken a full-time job first my hours at work were complex they were going according to what he wanted you know so i could be home with him and you know be there for him help him out with homework or whatever and then my hours got longer. I would have to work, like for example, nine in the morning till seven at night. I would come home, he would have to get ready for bed. So I wasn't spending so much time as he wanted. He actually told me that he feels neglected because mommy never has any more time with him. So I've made a decision to actually stop working until he was ready to understand that mommy has to work to make ends meet and be there for him. I'm proud of being a part of hospitality. I plan on becoming a chef and I want to get a goal to work at the CN Tower as a chef. Uh, his future life, uh, goal in life is to become a chef and I wish him all the best in the world. And I wanted to see him do it. <laughs> and I pray to God that I am still alive the day he does. It will be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> and I'm glad I have a son like him. He was a real blessing. Thanks to my son, 
I have looked at life very differently now. I don't worry about what's going to be coming next. I just live day by day and I think that's all you can do is just live day by day and because you never know what life is going to bring you around the corner. And it, he has changed me in that way.